Hi, Quack Pack. It is me, Quack the Cool Duck. And today, we are going to be doing for this bonus story time at Quacks. As you know, today's Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. We are going to be doing a the story of how of how Easter originally started and why we celebrate it today. Bam, 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 bam. Quack the Cool Duck. Bam, 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 bam. Quack the Cool Duck. So, it all started back when... In Jesus' time, just so you know, Hobbs is not actually, we're not claiming that Hobbs is our Lord and Savior. That would be weird. He's just playing the role. Hello. He, and um, a couple of days before the whole crucifixion and stuff happened, he was riding on a donkey. Donkey! Come, my loyal donkey steed. And he was walking. Hee haw! And he was walking through You're the not town. Not a very convincing donkey. And everybody was shouting, "Oh, Hosanna! Oh, Hosanna!" Hee haw! Hee haw! And they were laying down their white cloaks and and all their clothes for the Lord, our Savior. Hosanna! Oh, Hosanna! Oh, Hosanna! 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 Hee haw! Hosanna! 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 Why is everybody fangirling over me? That's not a part of your role, Hopster. <laughs> I know. Hosanna! 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 Woo! Hee-haw! Hee-haw! Here's my white clothes! Hosanna! Hosanna! Yeah. Alright. So, and I have a few years ago, and everybody was worshipping him, and worshipping Jesus. And having a good time. Okay, donkey. Your role's done. Um... But, get at your mom! Get your mom. Um, that, that was not a part of the play. They did not get their mom. Um, they, but, they, but before Jesus died on the cross, and before one of the disciples, which is where his loyal, which is where his friends that he chose, they all had a Passover dinner. Uh, welcome, my, welcome, my little, Welcome, everyone. Today we are going to have a Passover dinner. Go ahead. We have some cu- We have some cups of wine and some bread and some piece of bread. Now these weren't a big loaf of bread. These were just tiny pieces cut up. But the disciples had their plenty, and now they're going to pray before they ate. Dear, dear Father, thank you for this food. I pray blessings over it. And also, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, before you drink, now, before you eat a drink, this cup of wine represents my blood. Uh. Just, just go with it. And this bread represents my body. Uh. uh is something happening here? Uh, yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. This was actually made of your blood, were you? No! <laughs> it's just a figurative speech. Oh! And one of you, yes, one of you, my loyal disciples, will betray me. <gasps> I wouldn't betray you. Me either. No, not me. 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 I wouldn't. No way. Well, one of you will. And how do you know that? I, I know, I know what's ha- I know what's going to happen. But, just know that this is just just know that this cup is my blood, and this bread is my body. Now go ahead and eat. This is pretty good bread, though. Oh, yeah. I wonder what he means by that, though. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. He's he's definitely starting to... He's definitely starting to freak me out a little. Hopefully nothing happens to Jesus. Oh, yeah, that'll be so terrible. Well, like Jesus has said, one of the loyal disciples were going to betray him. And... When, 
And after and after the Passover, Jesus went into the garden, and he wanted to go alone. Are you sure you don't want any of us to come with you? No, I'm going by myself. I need some alone time. Okay, uh, okay, Jesus, we'll be out here. We'll be uh, we'll be we'll catch you later. We'll be cleaning. We'll be cleaning up the dinner table if you need us. Okay, thank you all. No problem. Well, in the well, in the garden, Jesus was praying to God because he knew what was going to happen in the next few days. Oh, Heavenly Father, I know that one of my sons will betray me and I will be crucified. And Lord, if you could take this cup away from me, I pray that you will. But if it is, but I will do your will if you want me to. He he didn't want to do it, obviously. I mean, who would want to be crucified? That would be terrible. And the way your best friends are going to betray you, that's like crazy. But he knew that it had. But he knew that he should follow God's will and not him and not his will. Yeah. He, he was in there for about three to four hours in the garden praying. But we can't make this video three to four hours long. I'm sorry. But, um, well, meanwhile, meanwhile, one of the disciples named Judas was talking, got stopped by a Roman soldier. Hey, dude. Uh, hey? I'm a real, I'm like... Oh my gosh, you're a Roman soldier. Hey, 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 chill, 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 chill. I wanted to make you an offer, dude. An offer? What kind of offer? I know you're like real good friends with this Jesus guy. And oh, I, the king of Jews? Yeah, and we've been look we've been looking for him, and uh, we were wondering if you'd be able we were wondering if you'd be able to help us find him. For what? Hmm. Well, I could give well, I could give you some gold. That's not how the story goes, dude. Well, uh, it was 20 pieces of silver. Oh. Well, I can give you 20 pieces of silver. Deal. The one who I kiss, just know, the one who I kiss is Jesus. Works for me, dude. Bam! That's right. He gave his Lord and Savior up for 20 pieces of silver. You know how much that's worth now? About $100. But not that much, to be honest. For to give up your to crucify someone like wow. Hey, I was just doing my role. But so so a few days before the crucifixion, the Roman soldiers, the Roman soldiers were watching, and well, all and the disciples were there, but Judas kissed Hopster, aka Jesus, on the cheek. <gasps> Yo, that's so freaky, dude. How long do we have to stay in this pose? 80 more minutes! 80 more minutes later. That was a long time. Well, well, I have some teachings to do. I'll be, I'll be back in, I, I have some more praying, I have some more praying and some teachings to do. But, I'll be back, and, I'll be back in a while. Alright, uh. So, are all you disciples coming with me? Yeah! Well, uh, actually, I have to go, uh, do something. Oh, uh, okay then. What he meant by doing something was, a was actually helping the Roman soldier set up a plan. So did you see the one I kissed? Oh, yeah, dude. I saw it with my own two eyes. That, that's the Messiah that you want. Sweet. So, uh, now we just gotta, now we just gotta, you know, set the trap. Yeah. Aren't you gonna take it to the religious leaders? You bet. Oh, you bet I am. They're gonna love this. Yeah. They have to agree before you can actually do it, though. If, yeah. And that's right. The, the story of Easter began with a betrayal kiss. Now, the religious, now, let's, now, the religious leaders met two guys. All right, let's look at our next meeting. Is with the Roman soldiers and a guy named Judas. Oh, I wonder who Judas is. 
Yo, dudes, we found Hello, the- Roman soldiers. Greetings. Well, are, are you here to bring? If you're here to bring us taxes, we can get the money right now. The, hey, hey, chill, chill. We're not. Oh, oh. We're not here to tax guys. We're we're not here to tax you guys. Really? Actually, I feel like that's the only reason they're ever here. We found something even better. What? What could be even better? What could be better to the Romans than paying taxes? We found the Messiah. Dun, dun, dun. You mean the one you call the King of Jews? Yeah. We found yeah, him. Yeah, we found him. And, and, um, and I think that you guys should put him on trial. Um, oh, okay, we, we, but who will we put on trial against him? Because, you know, one needs to be let free, one doesn't. Hmm. What about that oh. Barnabas guy? Oh. Yeah. Uh. Um. Yes, we will. Yes. Uh, um, I'll get those two ready. Yeah, we could have. We could have it. In, we could have it ready by an hour or so. Sweet. I'll bring. Well, I'm sure he and I can bring. I'm sure he and I can bring the Messiah back here by then. Great. We'll see you then. So that's where the Roman soldiers took Jesus to be put on trial. Even though he had done nothing wrong. Uh. Where oh. am I? Hey, uh, where am I? Uh. You're with us now, dude. Judas, what are you doing here? Well, we, I remember we, when you said that one of your, one of your... Most trusted guys would betray you. Yeah, it was you, wasn't it? Yeah. I always had a sly feel about you. But why am I here? Well, uh... well you're gonna be on trial with some of the, the religious leaders. But I did nothing wrong. That's what you. That's what they want you to think. So you're coming with us? No. So to put that trial against Barabbas. Dun, dun, dun. So, you got... So, you are the one who calls the... You're the one who, who they call the King of Jews, correct? Yeah, yes. that's me. And you are Barabbas, the, no, the known murderer. Yeah, that's me. We are putting you on trial to see who should we let free and who should we not. This is how... This is how you decide your court cases... Yes. So, Barabbas has been accused of murder, robbery, and a bunch of other terrible crimes. And you have been accused for... Be the king of Jews! Yes, but what did he do wrong? Be the king of Jews! Yes, but what did he do wrong? Be the king of Jews! I am not going to get anywhere with this. Yeah, how exactly are those two things comparable? He's the king of Jews! Um, I don't see why there's anything wrong, but we should just, I don't see why there's anything wrong with him and not Barabbas. But, this, but he's the king of Jews! Alright, alright, if you want this so badly, let's make it happen. Let, let's talk to, let's talk to the people to see what they would want. If they want Barabbas to go free, or Jesus. The king of Jews! Yes, we get it! So, the people... So, people, who do you want free? The King of Jews! Or Barabbas? Who do you want to be free? Barabbas! 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 Well, that was unexpected. Well, what do you want? Well, what do you want done to this guy? Crucify him! Crucify him! What did he have done wrong that he deserves to be crucified? Because he's the King of Jews! Crucify him! I don't see why there's anything wrong, but if that's what you want, I guess that's what you'll get. So, he, so that's why the people said they wanted him to be crucified. Even though he had literally done nothing wrong, when Barabbas had done a bunch of things wrong. But the Roman soldiers beat at him. Punch. Punch. Uh, punch. Punch. And they nailed his hands to a cross. t -pose. Ow. This really hurts. No, no. Yeah. 
and there was Jesus was in the middle. Then they had two criminals on the side who both had done stuff to be here because they had done very wrong things. And they put the king of Jews above his head. Bing! All of the invisible side. And they were making fun of him. They are like, well, you saved so many people. Why don't you save themselves? But really, he was saving. But really, the truth was, he was saving them and saving all future generations from sin. Even though we do sin, he saved us from it by dying on the cross and became the ultimate sacrifice. <sighs> Why don't you save yourself since you're known as the king of Jews? Hey, you got nothing wrong. He, we were here for a reason. He didn't do anything. Well, I'm afraid my time has come. G G Jesus, when you go into your kingdom, will you remember me? Yes, I will. And today you will be saved. So that's right. Some of you got saved in Jesus' worst moment in, like, history. And he and they still got saved. Well, G Jesus was buried by the Roman soldiers. The Roman soldiers. It put it to a two. Oh, 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 we got him now. D D we know he he's always talking about who's the king of Jews. Heh, <laughs> not anymore. But when his mother, Mary, uh, and Simon and Peter went to go went to go to get the went to go to get the went to go to check on the tomb. Because they were very, very sad, obviously. Something surprising happened. Oh, I can't believe my only son died. Oh, uh, uh, I know. He was one of our closest <laughs> friends. He was the Messiah. Come on, we should go check on his tube. Okay, we'll come with you, Mary. For emotional support. <gasps> the, tube's the, the tube's empty. What? The tube's empty. Wait, they must have moved him. Where did they move my son? <laughs> oh. Who are you? I am an angel. And I am here. Do not be afraid. I am here to tell you that Jesus is God. He is not here. But uh, where is he? He is alive. We saw him get buried literally two days ago. Technically three according to the rules. He is alive, and he will be coming back. <sighs> that is so crazy. And look, the paper is folded up. In case you didn't know, back then with servants and the masters, if a servant had to go out something, if they folded the paper up, that means they were coming back, so the servants would take away the food. If it was wide enough, that means they take it away. So when they folded the paper, that means Jesus was coming back.
Hey, you don't understand. It's me, Jesus. How can you be Jesus? You look totally different than we saw you. Well, that's the thing, see? I'm like a ghost. No, I'm... you're not. Ghosts aren't real. Well, I, I'm i the Jesus that came out of the tomb. Oh, so you're Jesus? Wait, prove to me you're Jesus. Heal this wound on me. Watch. Yes, mother. Watch this. He is Jesus! Oh, the Messiah is alive! Yay, you're back alive! Not for long, though. What? Huh? I, uh... Yeah, I can't stay here for long. I. Yeah, but you're not a ghost, though. You're a human. I know, but I have to meet my father up in heaven. You'll stay here for a while, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be, here for, I'll be here for a little while. But for right now, we can celebrate because I am being death and, and the strongest thing on earth, death and sin, is now being defeated. Hallelujah, look what God can do. Hallelujah, his promises come true. Every hour, every minute, when you first believe. Hallelujah, look what God can do. Hallelujah, his promises come true. Mary, Moses, and Joseph, and baby Jesus, he's with us. Hallelujah, look what God can do. Hallelujah. <laughs> look what God, God can, can do. do. Oh, yeah. So that's right. Jesus came back from the dead and proved sin and all those liars wrong. Because he came back, and and even though he's not on earth with us today, we know that he is in heaven and is waiting for when he comes for our return. And he and now we don't have to like kill the land and stuff. And he has freed us, and he has freed us from all this sin. That that's what I call Amen. Amen. Oh yeah. Even though Je the real Jesus isn't here right now, he can go to his sacrifice. We can pray to him, get rid of our sins, and he died for you, me, and all the generations past and for the future. And that is the amazing story of Easter. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to Quack the Cool Duck, to be a quick pack the coolest pack ever, and have a Merry Easter, everyone! We should do an, e we should do an Easter outro. Bam, 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 bam. Easter time! Bam, 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 Easter time! Have a great Easter quack pack! And remember, it's not about the kitty or the buddy, even though they are very sweet. It's about the story that Jesus, how Jesus died for our sins on a cross.